going on daily gangs welcome back to another video i hope you're doing well in today's video we're gonna go through and do an account overview by the way uh we had a really rubbish kvk um i was pretty much unshielded the whole kvk and no one wanted to attack me with anti so i had no choice but to keep my anti on because i didn't want to give away my troop combination um yeah, so I hope you had a, a better KVK, and that's what I was saying, you know, when you're a solo trap, it's kind of difficult because you can't get into Fury, you know, there's not much you can do apart from sit and wait for someone to attack, and plus we were up against two other kingdoms um, that were quite, quite, uh, yeah, it was it was a dead kingdom, we won by just holding forts and bases, to be honest, not much else has happened, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the account overview, um, where do we start? Where do we start? Yeah, um, by the way, let's start with this actually. The investment one uh, is it's really rubbish. So, you know, what you'll have to do is basically you have to invest 3.6k gems and claim it twice. If you don't or if you run out of time, you lose your 3.6k gems. And, you know, once you claim twice, you're going to get what? 300 and some odd gems, 300 and something. It's not worth it. So, yeah, I haven't done it. You can you can do if you want, but it is completely pointless. You can get more gems by just hunting a monster, to be honest, rather than investing it on this. Because imagine you you forget to get on the game and and claim uh, that's three three point six k gems wasted. So don't do it. Apart from that, there's nothing uh, there's nothing new. Um, yeah, so let's start with the troops where everybody wants to know. So currently, I'm running with six point six million troops. Um, I've got a bit of uh, siege mainly for. Uh, you know when i get attacked with familiars so that they can they'll, they'll absorb the uh the familiar attacks but i'm gonna get it to about two million um if i'm being honest because what i want i actually want my siege to be the highest troop and there is a reason for that if you didn't know um, the reason for that is because when you get hit with you know familiars level 5 t5 familiars um uh, some of them will kill the highest troop so the in terms of numbers and, and that's what i'm gonna do i don't want to lose a bunch of my other troops so level one siege one might happy days um but yeah we have 6.6 .6 mil um two million across t2 so glad range and cav um and nothing on t3 because they're rubbish and then we've got about 200k each on t4 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build another two mil of each more on the t2s um, and then i'm gonna keep it there so when I'm ready to turn it into a rally trap, I will probably get rid of all the infirmaries. And I'm going to change it to manners because if you're going to build a bunch of T4s, in an ideal world, I'm going to get them to about uh, 1.52 million each. So for that, I'm going to need a bit of uh, a bit of the speed up. So you know, we'll have to find a dealer, get uh, get some some speeds, and it's cheaper to do it that way while you're still under 200 million might uh, because it's uh, you know you save a bit of. Uh, a bit of cash so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get that sorted in the next couple of days um but in the meantime i'm gonna build i have a bit of speed up so i'm gonna build a bit more t2 um and then see where that takes us if we get to about four million each t2 uh two mil each of t4 that will be a, that will be a solid combination and in terms of gear um this is what i am running um obviously that's when i first started the, the account actually before we do the gear let's do the research um Let's do the might distribution actually. Um, let's have a look. Not that one. It was this one. So 70 million troops, um, 9.7 on buildings, 25 might on quests. I accidentally accepted one, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, research 66 mil. If we add another 25 mil on top of that, once we complete the research on the counters. Um, that will probably take us roughly to about um, 100 million, 100 million research. That's uh, that's decent. Um, everything else, pretty much that. Captured leaders, 6 or 5. Prisoners executed, 184. Um, this was when I first started the account, to be honest. Uh, and then I've lost my leader four times. I uh, know, seven times. And out of those four times, I got it executed. Um, in terms of talent, we are in war talent. 
which is good but we're going to change it out i've changed it because of kvk um so in terms of heroes um so i can pretty much max all these i've got the medals um on most of these heroes to be honest um so i can get them maxed but i'm not gonna because i don't need them i'm not gonna use them i don't need the extra might so i'm just gonna leave it at that um but what we have at the moment is i'm running two inf two range and two cav um if we go to the wall so yeah this is what we are running pretty much uh, all three to play play hero eventually i'm gonna change tempest height um i'm gonna change him to something else because it really doesn't help much um unless you you know it'll only come into effect once you lose 10 percent of your troops so if you're a, if you've got a, loads of troops then he's not gonna he's not gonna do much uh, if anything to be honest so it's pointless i am working on familiar wise um let's actually get it started um and this is what we need yeah i'm currently this is what we have so far um, obviously we've got these three maxed um slowly i'm working on the level fives um usually i do it when uh halos in here um whatever it is called i kind of forget the names to be honest tycoon so yeah when we have halos then i will get my level 5 t fires which is usually the bond um and two more so huey and something else i can't remember what it, which one it was um, but yeah at the moment i am working on this guy um i need to i've got the the food on that um you know i just need to get medals that's why i'm doing um level one so and the reason for that is if you have a look at his talent he is reduces enemies have max hp so when you're a solo trap and you're kind of in the low might people will automatically assume you have got in front line and i usually run on in front line or i'll, I'll do a range wedge so you know where you've got your, your infantry with the range at the front so you know when people hit you with cav and reducing 40 percent of their cav hp it's gonna it's gonna help massively and it's an instant so you don't have to wait um so yeah he's i'm working on these and eventually i'll you know i'll replace that with probably bon appetit um so we'll we'll see so that's yeah in terms of familiars that's what we have nothing else nothing fancy um just the, the regulars once i'm done with it i'll probably do the passive uh talents on the attacks like the hps the range and the attacks and the infantry i'm not gonna touch cav i don't need because i'll never run on a, on a cav front um the accounts are free to play um i spend a bit of money so yeah obviously we've got the elite unlocked um we don't have any holy stars um, but i'm gonna start stacking those um and the reason for that is when we get to my gear and um, you will see why um so yeah let's do the gear itself i am running um at the moment this set my main hand is fully maxed um it's mythic and i have two level two tampers on it um, i'm probably gonna get it to level 12 um, eventually but yeah i also have the other option where i can swap it to that but i don't need this is way better um, and it's obviously fully mythic so yeah um this gives me a bunch of hp and that is the main reason why i have got this set is if you look at in every piece of my gear it gives hp um because obviously if you didn't know attack hp defense is meh so HP goes a long way uh, when you up against these max accounts, uh, especially you know solo. If you are a solo trap, you need all the HP that you can get under the sun to counter their attack because you need to stay in the fight long enough to survive and obviously to defeat the enemy. So that's why I chose this particular um, gear because all of them do give HP apart from the main hand. Uh, but the main hand gives a bunch of attack so and it's the easiest piece to upgrade and to get it to mythic so but majority of these with the exception of the boots you can actually get it to purple uh, if you by purely hunting and being in a good guild to be honest so it's quite easy to to, to obtain the ultra rare items and um, the games come a long way but you can even do you know the five dollar um what is it called the five dollar packs and um, so just get five dollar each time rather than going the five twenty fifty and, and the hundred um but yeah that's that's what we're running with um if we go into talent once i am 
in gear this is the sort of talent you would expect so almost 400 across um, 388 on inf um, range 6362 and carve 336 uh, but again i don't have any prisoner i don't have my altar is not um obviously on because i haven't executed any leaders but we can do that no big deal and um, once we do that that's going to give us another 38 percent extra more each so yeah that's gonna that's gonna help massively uh, and obviously if you have level 60 prisoner that's going to give you extra 30 percent stat so all in all uh, and obviously the, the, the gear is not all fully maxed i'm still working on it so once it's all maxed we'll roughly get about 460 470 close to about 500 um, in terms of army attack it won 160 and to look at that hp 390 almost so yeah that's gonna that's gonna help a bunch and in terms of jewels all my jewels are purple so yeah i'm just you know now i'm gonna start working and getting these to gold because they're gonna give me an extra eight percent each so every piece will give me 24 percent extra stats um times that eight that's a lot of uh, attacks that we are missing at the moment so yeah we're gonna we're gonna start working on that uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think uh, in terms of the overall account um, i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out any of the the upcoming videos and don't forget to find that easter egg because in every video i leave something inside the video all you gotta do is find what it is put it in the comment and each week i will randomly select someone from the comments um, i'll put everybody who's guessed correctly into a draw and then you could win fifty thousand gems every week thanks for watching and i will catch you on the next one